Hello, this is Brandon, and this will be my chart review for Thursday, November 5th. Um, I have a mixed feelings about my trading today. I did end up with a couple of scalps. I took a scalp in here, and I took a scalp in here. Um, that was all I took. So two wins, $92, uh, and I'm slowly crawling my way back on my combine here. Uh, but still quite a ways to go. Um, but what was disappointing is I watched so many good setups uh, just go right on by. Um, so it was frustrating. I just uh, kept kept finding an excuse not to enter. Um, and so I ended up missing a lot of nice setups. But quite a few pretty clear, nice setups today. And... Um, what I saw early on, I thought maybe we were heading heading up. Um, this trend line held right in here, which is why I took this trade in here. Um, and it, it could never get any higher than, than these uh, overnight highs. Um, and then this set up the trend line right here and ended up reversing right here. So this, I think this channel is valid. Um, yeah, and so it ends up being this this kind of big two-tiered channel working down. Um, but at the same time, it's it's pretty darn rangy. Um, so I obviously marked a few long trades right in here, um, in addition to these clear shorts. Um, so let's zoom in. Zoom in. So uh, in the overnight, I marked this channel working up. You get a break, uh, if not here, definitely here, and then it makes a new high and reverses. Um, I don't think you necessarily want to take a first entry, although that's a pretty nice bearish bar. Um, but I didn't see a good place to enter to the short side on this reversal. Um, until we finally got a break here, and then we had two legs to a or a two-legged correction back to the EMA. I didn't end up taking this trade because this signal bar looked really suspect to me. Um, but I think the way to enter this would have been with a stop right below this low because it is kind of a trap. I mean, you you've had no break of this channel until here, um, and so you can. It's a strong move to the downside. You can expect, I think it's reasonable to expect a retest of these lows. And there's plenty of room there. Um, so you get a move up, pull back, second entry long, and it fails right there. Um, so right off of the EMA, and it's a nice little nice little trap. So, um, But yeah, again, I didn't, this bar looked really funny to me, so I didn't even think to have a... Um, a stop order right in here, but that would have worked out for a quick trade. Um, and then when prices were bouncing down in here um, and, and on this bar, I started to think about a possible reversal here because we'd had a break and we'd had a move to a new low. And I I drew this line. I mean, as prices were right in here on this bar, I drew this line and I said, you know, that looks like a little bit of a failed break below this double bottom right in here. Um, so rightly or wrongly, I went ahead and, and took a trade right in here. Um, I didn't I didn't want to have a lot of risk on the trade. So I, I had a limit order right back in here. Um, and uh, as this bar was forming, I just had my limit order to buy right at this price level. And once I got filled, um, it popped up here and gave me a quick quick scalp and then closed down here um, and the whole time I had my stop just one single tick below these lows right in here I did not want to give it much room in case I was wrong um, but it turns out that this this was a little reversal place right here um, and it's coming off of this trend line also which I did not have this drawn in 
until after this had started to bounce. Um, I was just going off of this line and off of the, the price action here where we had a break and a, a new low. Um, so I, I marked this. Maybe that's um, a little bit questionable, but it does confirm both these touches in here confirm this trend line, um, which was obviously easy to draw off of these first two swings. Um, so I think that's valid, and this might be a little bit aggressive, this trade. But this, this is a clear trade right here. Um, it's, a, it's a second entry long, counting from the low, and you also have this little trap. Uh, look at this bearish bar from the EMA, and it ticks one lower, um, and then it fails right on here on this bar. So again, it might be a tad aggressive, um, and I, I really wasn't quick enough to kind of realize what was going on right there. I didn't like how uh, everything was closing below the EMA still, except for this little close just slightly above it. Um, so I was a little skeptical and worried about getting long in here. Um, but then this is the, this was the really clear setup, and I, you know, this began the theme for today, which was just watch all these setup setups cruise right on by without taking a trade. I mean, this was definitely questionable, but I took it, um, and you know, this is this is clear cut, and I just watched it go right on by. So, uh, what you have here is your new low. First entry short, pullback, yeah, pullback, second entry short. Notice it just goes down a single tick, and that doesn't look like it, but that's a pretty bear, a pretty bullish close. It's almost right on its high. It's just a tick below its high. Um, and then so I, the trade there was to just have a stop waiting. Um, and I could have used a limit order to get long right in here, um, but I just, I just, yeah, I just failed to see that because you see that would have worked. Um, could have waited for this and then used the limit order to get long at that same price level. And um, it's a quick, quick scalp right there. Um, I think you know it takes some major uh, skill to to try to take this short here. I mean that's pretty that's pretty vague. Um, the only way you could have known that that there's a trend line here uh, is based off of these two swings and so I think I don't think it's reasonable to expect anybody to know that this is going to happen I mean it, it, it looks if you're going short here it's a counter trend trade because everything's heading up in the most recent price action so I didn't see any way to enter in here but this turns out to be a really sharp move um, and then you get first entry long pull back second entry long it's also a breakout pullback, which I didn't have my line, line drawn all the way over there. Wish I would have, because that would have been a, a, another um, another clue to just take this short. I didn't take this short because I was worried about the support right in here. Um, so yeah, I mean, at this point, it kind of looked like maybe it was just going to be a range day, right? So when you get that bar um, I don't know it looks like it's might it might have a downward bias but you know it, it prices are clearly swinging on both sides of the EMA um, and so I just I didn't really have the go short mindset right in here especially so far away from the EMA um, so I guess that just just a matter of experience like Mac will always say <clears throat> But yeah, so I like the failed second entry long right here. It, uh, it ticks one higher and then drops right out the bottom. Um, so that's a nice trade. Um, I was really close to going long right in here. I didn't want to counter trend trade, so I skipped it. Um, but I did mark it, and it's, it's probably it's something that shouldn't be marked. But I did want to talk about it. You get this little tiny bar, and notice where it, where it reversed right in here next to this overnight low um, and so it's way far away from the EMA um, and so I thought that was a for a very aggressive trader it was a good place to go long
I mean, obviously it would have been just good for a scalp, <clears throat> nothing more. Um, and it's totally counter trend, so I'll just delete it. I just did want to talk about that little tiny bar. It is bullish, so there's not a lot of risk there. Um, and I just skipped it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to start that again because look, I mean, each time, each previous time that it had ticked higher, what happened? You know, it it, it just failed. So I didn't want that to happen to me again. Um, and Here's another trade I missed. Let me zoom in. Notice you have first century long pull back, and this high is just a little bit lower than that high, one tick. So you get a second entry long, and then it just fails. It's also kind of a two legged pullback up, down, up, and there's kind of a second entry short. It was still quite far from the EMA. Um, and so I was I was uh, not confident enough to take that trade, uh, although obviously it works out to be a really nice trade. And so I measured this move to the downside here, right down to there, um, and then we had a little correction, and I measured it from there. Like you can see, we came up uh, three or four ticks shy, um, which that's, you know, I take that as a clue that we're going to have a reversal. Um, and in fact, we did. Um, so let's see, this next trade, again, I watched this one go right on by. Um, oops. But I like this trade. Notice the new low, pull back first entry short, pull back second entry short. So that's a quick uh, scalp right there. Um, and then you get your reversal pattern. Um, so I, I wasn't about to go short in here because this looked very reversal-like to me. Get your little channel working up, break, first entry short. Makes a new high, second entry short. I didn't like this signal bar. I didn't like that signal bar. I didn't like how, I mean, as far as trying to go short in here, I didn't like that this bar was bullish and it had pushed right through the EMA. We had three, one, two, three closes above the EMA. Um, so it's looking reversally. <laughs> and then you get the new high here, first entry short pullback, second entry short, and it fails. Um, it's also kind of a little two-legged pullback here to the trend line. Um, and you definitely could have had this trend line drawn off these first couple of swings here on the upper side. And originally I had it as uh, the top of the channel. Later on when we got this price action in here, I, I turned it into a two-tiered channel. Um, and we, it, never, it never ended up going to the upper line, um, but you can see this, there's uh, support and resistance on both sides of that midline. So I think that's right, and I know this lower uh, trend line is correct because look at the perfect touches. I mean, those three are just textbook, boom, 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 and then look at that perfect touch right there, and it makes one more push and runs into this upper um, big major channel line here. Um, so anyway, you got the failed second entry short right in here. Um, and again, you know, at least I didn't try to go short into that. Um, but then I missed, I missed the opportunity to go long right there. Um, and then you get kind of a two-legged pullback. Note the high here. Pullback. It's up. Pullback. And then it's kind of a second entry long here. It's right off the trend line. Uh, look how bullish that bar is. It took one lower here. So this, this you can know, um, or you know that uh, this trapped a lot of traders to the downside. They thought, okay, this little correction is over, and let's all pile into the short side again, and bam, they all got trapped right there. So I like that. Um, again, 
you know, like I said, that was the theme today. I just watched all these trades pass me right on by. Um, I part of my issue was after this really strong move down, uh, and we didn't quite make the measured move. I was waiting for this to end. This just kept going a lot longer than I expected it to. This correction here back up to the upside. Um, so that's part of the reason why I just couldn't pull the trigger on these couple of longs or on this long either. Um, the price action was really slow in here, but we get a little correction here. First entry long, pull back second entry long. Um, it's also a little bit of a trap. Notice it ticked one lower there and then broke out the upper side. Um, but the price action didn't look bullish in here. Um, and so I was kind of skeptical of that. And before I could decide whether I wanted to try to go short in here or go long in here with a limit order or something, um, boom, it just popped right up there. So I missed that one. Um, I think, you know, after this little bullish price action, um, you know, you haven't really had a retest of this low off this little channel working down, but it at least tried one time. Um, so I like that for a long, and it was just a little bit too convoluted for me to, to feel confident about. Um, and so <laughs> you guys will like this. I'm going to switch it over. This is my combine account, so this is where I took my second trade and got a quick scalp. But I was really, really tempted to go short in here, but it was a total counter trend trade. Notice that, that it it finds a high right at this previous line and that's pretty bearish um, gives you this big bullish bar and then you get a little trap so you get a bullish bar like that and it just gets reject rejected right off of that line pulls back here this is a pretty bearish close and then it ticks lower so I, I didn't want to mess around with my combine account I was pretty much satisfied with the two wins so I just really quickly switched over to my SIM account and I took a short right here and um, it, it went against me almost immediately and I said, no, nah, this is this is not right. It's not time to go short yet. Um, it turns out maybe I could have gotten a tick or two, but I just closed it out because, uh, you know, this was looking really bullish and I was actually thinking first entry short, pull back second entry short and it fails. And there's a chance to go long. One more chance to go long on this, uh, this channel working up. So I just closed this SIM trade, went back into my um, Combine account. And when this, notice it tried to go lower once, tried to go lower twice, tried to go lower a third time. And here's another bullish bar. Now it's really congested in here. So I had to kind of take a leap of faith on this trade, honestly. Um, I, I was pretty nervous about it, but I just pulled the trigger finally, um, and I waited. So I waited for prices to tick one higher, and then I used the limit order to get long a couple ticks back into it. Um, really, I wanted to go for 20.95 so that I could have my 2093 stop, my eight tick stop back here below these lows. Um, but it, it just was looking like it was getting ready to pop at any moment. So I moved my limit order just a little bit higher right in here at 95 and a quarter. Um, and this closed as a doji and went down against me. And I was like, oh man, I could have gotten the 95. But I still felt pretty confident that we'd see a pop up here at least to give me a scalp and sure enough it, it this turned out to be another uh, a failed attempt to push lower so you got one two three four tries to push lower and um, you know we all know what happens when it tries that many times and fails it's probably going to go the other way so they just popped up and gave me a scalp and I was pretty much done for the day as far as my combine trading um, back out here so I was pretty amazed that uh, once this turned down here I, I finally drew this line in and I thought wow that's that's uh, that's pretty uh
it's uh, pretty accurate there where it, it, it turns down right to the tick right off of that line. Um, so realistically, you, you could probably mark that for a short. It's a pretty bearish bar. It's completely counter trend. There's been no break of this trend line working up. Um, but look how bearish that bar is. And it does do kind of a trappish move. It goes one tick higher than these previous highs and closes way down here. Um, and you can tell once once it was kind of more clear that prices were heading lower, it just dropped really fast. Um, so the next trade that I marked, I also took this trade in my simulator account. Uh, I mean, by this time, it's it's 11 o'clock. I don't, I really only have kind of an hour, maybe two hours maximum left of uh, trading. And so I, I don't, at that point, I know I was only up 92 bucks, um, but I was satisfied with that. And I just really didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to have a loss. And then suddenly I'd be down on the day and I'd only have like an hour or, or so to to play catch up um, and you end up having to look for trades when there really aren't very many good setups you can see there was only one one more good setup that I marked and even that was after 12 o'clock um, but I like this setup in here um, I use my simulator account to trade it notice you have a channel working down you get a break it pushes, it pushes higher once pulls back and pushes higher a second time gives you this nice bearish bar um, counting from this low it's a classic textbook second entry short um, and it's weird the way ninja trader marked this trade or th this uh, entry here because it was right here I had after this bar closed I had my sell stop sitting right there so when this bar um, hit it that's where I got triggered into the trade and then boom it just almost instantly dropped down and gave me my uh, four tick scalp on that so like that for a nice second entry short um, works down and <clears throat> this was a dumb trade uh, this was again in my simulator account but note the new high first entry long pullback second entry long and it fails so I, I attempted to get short right there but obviously it was a bad idea and I got stopped out. But again, this is just my simulator account, so it doesn't really matter. The important part was the combine account and I uh, made a couple of, couple of wins in there. Um, so after you get this little short-term channel working down, you get a break, new low, uh, and it reverses. So it's kind of rangy in here um, and you get this channel working up. And that's why I should not have been going short right in here. We've had a break and a new low, and it's uh, it's kind of rangy in here. Um, so yeah, so you get a channel working up, and you get a break here, um, and this is new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short, and it fails. And look at that nice bullish bar, take way down here, and then bust it out the top. Beautiful bullish setup right there. Uh, I wasn't watching my screen when that happened, but anyway, I really like that setup. It's it's a little bit late in the day. Obviously, it's uh, about quarter after noon, um, but even counting from this high, it's a failed second entry. Look at that. First entry short, pull back. Second entry short, boom, just fails. And yeah, nice setup there. Quick, easy scalp. And that was all that I marked. <clears throat> So it's a good day. Uh, I'm glad to have another almost 100 bucks in the bank, and I'll just keep working at it. Um, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.